Hello and welcome to a new video about digital technology. Today we are going digital. We are living in an analog world. At least if we don't say, okay, quantum is... We take account quantum, then it's almost digital. However, quantum is usually that small that we, it's smooth. Our world around us is smooth. Right? We don't notice. Digital? We only have numbers, we only have steps. So either we have three or we have four. There's nothing in between. How to get from analog to digital? There are some basic things I want to show you today. For instance, one of those things is the so-called resolution. We talked about this in an earlier video, but here I want to explain it again. So we have an analog world. We have a digital representation of this analog world. How to get from here to here? We are subdividing this analog world into classes. Several classes. All right? Well, not roll of those classes. These are our classes. And we only say in which class a measured value is. So we're measuring the analog value and then we say, okay, it's in the first range. So we say it's zero. Then we're measuring maybe here, maybe here, maybe here, yeah, or here. All right. And these are the numbers, the digital representation of, of our world. So we have zero, we have a one, we have a two, we have a three, and here we have the highest number and so on. And this is the so-called resolution. The resolution is usually given in bits. Uh, the, the number uh, number of used classes is called Resolution. So, for instance, it is given in bit. Why is it given in bits? Because you usually have a number, some bits broad. Okay? So I have, for instance, a number, 8 bits, that we've learned, yeah? 8 bits means 256. Why 256? In example, 8 bits. So we have an 8 bit number here. Yeah? 8 bit bit pattern, 8 bit. A bit pattern with 8 bits is representing the digital value. And we have, if we use a, a decimal or binary system, we have two raised by the power of eight possibilities. These are 256. And the lowest number is zero. Yeah? And the highest number is 255. So we are subdividing this in 256 classes, this analog range, and give a number between zero and 255. This would be with eight bits. If we have 10 bits, for instance, then we would have 2 raised by the power of 10, and this is 1024. Yeah? So we are using numbers between 0 and 1023. This is, for instance, if you have ever dealt with an Arduino, uh, this is the reason why you get numbers between 0 and 1023, because the uh, analog digital converter inside this Arduino has a resolution of 10 bit. Industry 
grade, yeah, standard industry performance is 12 bit. Two raised by the power of 12 is 4096. Yeah, and so we have 0 to 4095. This is, this is industry standard. For basic applications, this should be sufficient. Okay, good. So that that is the resolution. This is what be, is behind the resolution. If, for instance, yeah, let's make an example. Yeah, example. We have a signal. 4 to 20 milliampers. Standard signal. Right? Standard signal. How broad, how many milliampers broad is one class? Yeah? And we have a resolution of, let's make industry standard, 12 bit. So, we have, how broad is this? If this is 4 milliampers and this is 20 milliampers, we have in between 16. So we have 20 milliamps minus 4 milliamps. This is the difference divided by 2 raised by the power of 12. So this is 60 milliamps divided by 4096. And now we use the calculator here. 16 divided by 4096. Okay, so this is 3.91 microamps uh, by digit. One digit difference, one value difference is 3.91 microamps. Now, is this good or bad? Yeah. Let's say we have a level measurement between, let's say this level is between 5 and 50 meters. Yeah. Same resolution. So we have 50 meters minus 5 meters divided by 2 raised by the power of 12, this is 10 meters, divided by 4096, yeah? and this is 10 divided by 4096, it's uh, 2.44 millimeters per digit. So with this application, if we have a, a signal 4 to 20 milliamps and I have a level measurement which representing the level measurements of 5 to 50 meters, I would reach a resolution of 2.44 millimeters per digit. So only if the level is changing 2.44 millimeters, I will see a change in digits. All right? If I want to have this more accurate, I can simply double the resolution. I can use 30 bit. Then I don't have 4096, but 2 times 4096, because every bit more doubles the amount of ranges. Yeah, but it's not that easy, yeah? Because right now we would need we would need an accuracy. So accuracy. How good is the measurement? So if I double the resolution in this example here, yeah, then I would end up in steps like that. So this here, check, check, check. It's now smaller steps. Yeah? This is one bit more resolution.
And let's say I have a measurement, I had before a measurement device, which, you know, if here is somewhere the value, yeah, then the measurement, this is not exact. Yeah? So we have a certain area so that we have maybe here, this is the distribution. Yeah? In the middle we have the most measurements, but sometimes there are also measurements off a little bit. Yeah? And here this should reflect somehow how often this is happening. Here in the middle there is there's the most likely one, and here this is not that likely but may appear. And also here this is not that likely but may appear. And of course this is the this is the accuracy of the underlying measurement. Yeah? This shows how good the measurement is. Because now with this element here I would have for instance plus minus one digit. It might happen that we measure here, it might happen that we measure here. So this is then jumping in between. Alright? This is then jumping in between plus minus one digit. This is okay. Yeah? And if I simply double the resolution yeah? and I had before plus minus one digit, then suddenly you have plus minus two digits. Yeah? And then the worst thing which can happen would be a measurement like this, yeah? that here plus minus, let's say plus minus five digits. This is not good. Yeah? So the accuracy has to keep up with the resolution. Yeah? Alright, simply here needs to fit the resolution. So just adding resolution does not change anything. Yeah? Then you notice a lot of noise from the measurement. Also the measurement needs to be more accurate huh? and this is then more expensive. This is why higher resolutions are usually more expensive. Because the accuracy has to keep the pace. Okay? Accuracy. That's accuracy. How good I can hit the correct number with my measurement. And then we have monotony. Right? Monotony. What does this mean? This means even if you're off a little, uh, we might be off a little bit because the accuracy isn't good enough or something like this. Yeah? However, what needs to be fulfilled is that if a rising analog value should be reflected by a rising digital value and a falling analog value should be reflected by a falling digital value. It cannot be that a rising analog value would produce a falling digital value simply because of inaccuracies. Yeah? So, I write here, if the analog value is rising, falling, the digital number is also rising or falling. This is what monotheme means. Yeah? So if we are if we are, even if we are off, at least the trend must be given. Alright? So these are the basics. You should know what is a resolution, you should know what is meant if we're talking about accuracy, and you should know what it's meant when we're talking about monotony. Yeah? Those things are required in an analog-digital converter. Now we talked analog-digital converter. Next video we're talking about digital-analog converter. Okay, so the opposite way around. This was the basic names and so on. Most of them are also applicable for digital analog converter, so resolution and so on, it's pretty much the same. Uh, but there are slight differences and I want to show you in next video. So next video, digital analog converters. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.